In Anime Studio Debut in Pro, you have access to the Help menu, which is your resource to anything regarding Anime Studio. You have tutorials up there, as well as the user manual. You have access to tech support, the community forums, and so on. So basically, if you're having issues, this is the place to look. To get started, simply bring your cursor up to Help, and here you'll see we have a bunch of different options. Starting with Tutorials, this will open up the Tutorial Manual. This is basically a guide to get you started quickly. You'll see we have some tutorials here on drawing, on how to use bones, images, animation, and effects. So if you're looking to get started quickly, you may want to check out this manual. Next, we have the actual user manual for Anime Studio. This manual comes with basically all the information you need for this product. It has information on all the tools, on all the features, and basically every nook and cranny that Anime Studio has. So if you're curious what certain features do, or if you're not sure how to access a certain feature, this is a great place to start. And you can always use the find or search feature to find exactly what you're looking for. Next, we have the online tutorials. If you click that, it will launch your web browser and take you to Anime Studio's tutorial webpage so you can access all the video tutorials there. The welcome screen simply pops up the welcome screen that you see when you first launch Anime Studio. So you can bring that up and check it out if you wish. You can register your product, which is great if you are wanting to stay up to date with all of Anime Studio's updates. There's the community forms, which is a great resource. This is especially great if you are having not so much luck um, with any of the other areas as far as help is concerned, because you can always go here and ask questions to people who, just like you, use Anime Studio. And I'm sure you'll find that the forums are a great resource and a great place to chat with like-minded individuals. There's technical support, which launches your web browser to the tech support part of the Anime Studio website, where you can live chat and get help from tech experts. You can download bonus content for your version of Anime Studio for the content library. The online video gallery is a place that showcases many incredible works that were created with Anime Studio. So if you're looking for a little inspiration, you should check those out. About Anime Studio, we'll simply launch the About window and give you information on the development, as well as which build you're using, and so on. The About Scripts window gives you access to all the scripts that you have currently installed. So if you plan to install more scripts, this can be a great asset because you can page through here and see which scripts were created by who, and the shortcut keys, if any, and just information in general on these scripts. You can buy content from Content Paradise to add to your content library. You can check for updates if you are curious if they have updated your version of the software. If you're using the debut version, you can upgrade to the professional version very easily just by clicking this link. And here you can create a content folder or you can open a content folder. So this is just a shortcut to your library functions essentially. If you want to create a folder or open a folder without actually launching your library, you can do so right in this menu. And that is the help menu. Again, don't be afraid to use it, especially if you're new to the software. I think you'll find that it is a great asset. If you have any more questions regarding Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys. I have more Anime Studio 9 tutorials out there, so be sure to check those out, and I will see you next time.